So welcome back to our photodynamic therapy video. Mr. Stevens has now had his aminolevulonic acid sitting on the scalp skin for about 90 minutes. Uh, about 30 minutes ago we had him come back in and we applied a topical numbing cream to the entire area to be treated and we do that for most patients so that they feel a little bit less burning and stinging with the first five minutes of the treatment. Uh, Mr. Stevens also has a large fan that he is in charge of so he's going to just basically put it where there's a hot spot if he feels it and um, <coughs> that along with the numbing cream 95% of our patients tolerate this treatment very very well. Um, he also will have a little clicker with the blue light so if he feels that it's burning too much he can always turn the light off. He's in control of that too. So what we're going to first do is wipe off the skin, get all that numbing <coughs> cream and aminolevulonic acid off of the skin. Are you feeling okay still? Uh, I'm Nothing feeling great. Nothing little burning or stinging up there? Yeah, no. I'm okay. Now, when you have this treatment done, your provider will give you some goggles, and it's very important that you wear these. Blue light, when, um, when you're exposed to it up close, can potentially cause some eye damage, so we want to have you wear your goggles, and the rest of us will be wearing some protective uh, vision goggles as well. Okay, there's his little on-off switch that he's in charge of. <laughs> now a lot of our patients also bring something to help keep their mind off it, so he has his iPod with him. You're welcome to um, listen to your iPod the entire time. Pretend you're at the spa. <laughs> the spa, <laughs> yes. And, and here are his goggles. We're going to go ahead and put these on. Okay. the light so that it's one to two centimeters from the skin that we want to treat. And when we're doing the scalp and forehead, we basically curve this lamp around so that it's getting the entire treatment area. How are you doing, Mr. Stevens? Very well, thank you. Anything feel really hot or burning right now? Not yet. No. Okay, great. And again, he's got that fan. He's able to move the fan anywhere he feels he needs it for his comfort. All right, the treatment is about 16 minutes under the blue light, and then he'll be all done. We'll, we, we will check back with him at the end of the treatment. Hey, Mr. Stevens, how'd you do? Very well, thanks. Great. Not too much burning or singing? Nope. Wonderful. What we're going to do now is take this light away from you. Take those goggles off. And uh, we're going to have the camera zoom in a little bit and just see how the head has turned a little bit pink, especially right through here. And usually the areas where it's more pink or red are the areas with more sun damage and precancer lesions. But feels fine. Um, and, and in some cases we have patients who go home and over the next one to two days develop a little bit more pink or red look and it almost looks a little bit like a sunburn. So Mr. Stevens, really important on the post, post care instructions here. Okay. For the next two days, completely avoid outdoor sun to this part of your skin. Um, and we leave you with a fantastic looking blue hat that I'm going to put on in just a second. We do put sunscreen on before you leave here, but sunscreen actually doesn't protect your skin 
for the next two days, you have to actually stay physically out of light. And that also applies to really strong indoor light, so you may not want to go sit right underneath your sofa lamp table or okay. have a dental procedure where there is a very strong light shining right on you. Um, we, we also have a few patients who try to drive home in the sunshine after this and if it's done on the face, sometimes you, know, you really actually need to bring a scarf to cover the face because it will burn. sunscreen on. Now we don't expect to see a lot of blistering, pus bumps, or crusting. Sometimes there's a little rough scabbiness that comes to the surface and comes right off. Okay. Really important to moisturize your skin four to five times a day over the next week and that will help the, the scale to slough off and give you beautiful new baby's bottom smooth skin. Well that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Don't tell your insurance, but this actually gives you a cosmetic improvement, too. We're going to let him go out of here with this awesome hat, courtesy of Love You On. That is an awesome hat. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones, here you come. <laughs> All right, and he's good to go. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.